Suicide is the 11th leading cause of death in South Carolina. John Charta is here to talk with us from the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. He's the area director of the South Carolina chapter. Uh, welcome. Difficult topic, but your organization gives people hope. Absolutely. A very difficult topic uh, and a very highly stigmatized topic. That's one of our main um, uh, purposes is to try and make suicide less of a dirty word. You know, it's, it's something that affects, as you said, um, hundreds of people in our state. Uh, last year, uh, we had 811 deaths by suicide. Um, and that is three times as many in 2018. That is three times as many people that have passed in a uh, alcohol-related motor vehicle accident. So it's a huge problem that is not getting nearly the amount of attention that uh, some other problems are getting, which, you know, that's why we're here. And then COVID-19 happened. And usually you have um, an awareness walk uh, every year around this time. And so that kind of um, takes a bite out of what you guys are trying to do. But the good news is that you're still trying to move forward. And that's why we're here today. We're going to be talking about um, how you are going to navigate during COVID-19 with your fundraising. So talk to us about your Out of the Darkness Community Walk, which, by the way, I guess is, is now a different name. Yep, we, we rebranded them this year because most of our uh, experiences will not be uh, in-person walk format, um, especially our Columbia Walk, which would have been scheduled for October 25th of this year. Uh, we are now going to be doing the South Carolina Experience, which includes a number of our state walks, including the Columbia Walk. On November 8th, uh, that'll be at 2 p.m. The best way to, to be a part of that would be to head to our website, afsp.org slash walksc and register for the walk and you'll start getting our emails. And we're doing a lot of events leading up to this, uh, all events, virtual events, uh, just to try and help bring people positive mental wellness activities. As far as the the experience, the South Carolina experience, you're not actually there with other people walking, but explain how that works virtually. Absolutely. On Sunday, September, or November 8th, forgive me, at 2 p.m., we're going to have a short online ceremony. We know people are kind of burnt out from doing the virtual, doing the Zoom experience or Zoom activities. So we're going to have about 30 to 40 minutes of you know, uh, we do our honor bead ceremony where people uh, wear a certain color of bead to represent their connection to suicide prevention. Uh, we're going to recognize our sponsors, which we are so thankful. We still have a number of our sponsors who signed on with us again this year, even though we are unable to meet in person. Uh, we're going to have some celebrations, some moments of hope. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway. Uh, we're doing currently a scavenger hunt in the state of South Carolina. There's a, about 15 different things you have to do. Uh, information, I can send you uh, the link for that if anyone's interested in doing it, or if someone signs up for a walk, they'll get that information sent to them as well. And uh, for anyone who completes that scavenger hunt, we're going to give away a bunch of AFSP swag and gift cards at the end of this, end of this November 8th program ceremony. And then we're going to ask you to go forth and take a walk in your neighborhood or take a hike at a local park, whatever you're available to do uh, to, to, you know, be with us in spirit as we would have been in person had we had the opportunity this year. You know, I was thinking about with uh, COVID-19 and the isolation that we're feeling now, that probably is compounding the suicide rate. Um, it's just, we have just never been through anything like this before, but just imagine the, this coupled with depression. Mm -hmm or anxiety. So could you talk to people right now who might be feeling lonely or depressed or, you know, what kind of resources do people have? Absolutely. We were, we were pretty bummed out about the terminology social distancing. Mm -hmm. uh, we get why it exists, but we prefer physical distancing because social shouldn't have any aspects of it. You need to stay connected with your friends and family in however way you can. Um, you know, in, in this moment, we, we don't know how the suicide rate is, effect, is affected. The CDC compiles that data, and it takes a couple of years for us to get it. Our most recent numbers are from 2018. So we won't truly know this year's impact. We have a couple forecasts that think it's rising, but we really don't know 
how COVID-19 is affecting the rate this time. Uh, so what we do is, is focus on people and promoting good mental wellness pra practices, whether it's meditating, doing yoga, eating a good meal, doing something that just brings joy to your life. But we highly recommend connecting as much as possible, whether it's keeping that six foot distance and doing it in person or doing it through a Zoom call. We highly encourage people to, to really be in tune with their surroundings still. Don't isolate as much as you can, as hard as that can be. You guys also have information for resources on your website. Um, I think that that's very important. You have programs and services as well. You want to talk to us about that? Absolutely. The AFSP is very focused on uh, prevention education. The more we know, we believe suicide is completely preventable. Uh, the more that we can educate the public about warning signs and, uh, uh, you know, behaviors and moods, I think the better that people will be able to identify somebody who, who needs someone to reach out to them. Uh, the most important thing is if you suspect something, trust your gut, reach out to that person and just talk to them. Uh, many times someone just needs to feel like they're a part of something. Uh, and of course, we have our helpline. Uh, we don't manage that as an AFSP.org. The helpline is a national organization. Uh, and as always, it is available 24-7, 365 days. That number is 1-800-273-TALK, 1-800-273-8255. And we're very excited that Congress recently passed the uh, Helpline Act, which will take the number from being a 1-800 number to a three-digit code similar to 911. And it should be implemented as long as it's signed. We're waiting for it to be signed still into law. Um, but it should be implemented hopefully by mid to late 2021. So people won't have to remember this long 10 digit number anymore. They'll just have the three digit number to be able to, to reach out to. I'm not going to say it yet. It's exciting, but I don't want to confuse people because we want to keep that 1-800 number at the forefront for them. Yes, yes. That's awesome news too. It's been great talking with you. Uh, John Charta, the area director of the South Carolina chapter for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, let's go over the ways, again, that people can sign up for any of the virtual walks or activities that are going on and more information on how you can get help if you are feeling depressed or anxious or lonely. Absolutely. www.afsp.org slash walksc. That has links to all nine of our experiences this year. Uh, You'll be able to register for any of them. And once you do, you'll have a plethora of information hit you on our different uh, events that we're hoping, hosting. We have two yappy hours coming up. We're going to do a little trivia night in October. We have the South Carolina scavenger hunt just going. Um, and as always, if you need help, reach out to that lifeline, 1-800-273-8255. All right, John, thank you so much. And, and stay in touch, all right? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ms. Coco. It's been a pleasure speaking to you today.